Now that is the sound of some really good working brakes right there. When they squeak, that means they're working. Now the industry keeps asking a question, are brakes coming back? They ask this question every single year, or at least people within the industry, whether in the news or just on YouTube. I feel like a lot of people just speculate and they wanna pretend that they really have a good grasp on where the industry is going. When in my opinion, I don't think that whether a rider puts on brakes or takes them off, if it's really gonna sway the decision of the industry. I just think that riders get bored and they like to change their setup. Me being somebody that did that throughout the years, I actually took my brakes off for, I wanna say I was brakeless for about three years, just to see what it would do to my riding. See if it would actually elevate my riding, make me feel more comfortable as a rider, but I ended up growing to miss the brake tricks. And that's what we're out here today. We're out here today to just do some brake tricks, talk about the differences of riders over the years and why people keep on putting on brakes and taking them off. Putting on brakes, taking them off. But they're not necessarily new riders in the industry today. They're riders that we would consider mid-school. So yeah, let's get some tricks right now and we'll talk a little bit more about those riders and why I think they made those decisions. Now growing up, I had brakes on all my bikes. Actually, pretty much every bike that was ever sold had brakes on them, and that was the thing. Anyone that had a bike had brakes, and we didn't really think to utilize them to do tricks until we saw riders such as like Dave Mir or Bruce Chrisman. That's from my era, so I'm more mid-school, so those are the riders that I saw doing brake tricks, which really inspired me to want to learn those things. It's not necessarily just doing the tire tap, which we're about to do right now, or just doing the foof nodes. It's training your body, you know, the spatial awareness, not only to get up there, but then the timing for your legs, as well as squeezing the brake and releasing it right on time. So let's do both these tricks right now, and I kind of want to explain to you why I think these things are pretty crucial in today's riding as well. So when I first started riding, the trick that I really wanted to learn was the tire tap. The tire tap was a staple trick for me because I wasn't too good at airing and it was a great way for me to kind of pivot and turn around on a quarter pipe to be able to gain speed to go the opposite direction. Now a Fufanu didn't come anywhere near as close as a tire tap when it came to being easy and also took the second, mm, yeah, the second or third longest for me to learn when it comes to a stall. I actually learned an Abubica second and then a Fufanu third because I couldn't necessarily always grasp figuring out how to do that 180 rotation in. Later down the road, I ended up figuring that out and look where we are now. Now over the years, brakes have been such a heavy motivator for me. Not just learning tricks like foofanoos, wall slaps, tire taps, any of those fun tricks, but they also can be utilized with other tricks out there and saving you from other tricks. And I've been saved so many times because of this brake lever from looping out onto my back and really, really potentially hurting myself. I've actually hurt myself pretty bad being brakeless, ended up looping out so hard, I almost broke my leg because I was unable to kind of control the back wheel when I was coming down. Now having brakes, that probably could have happened, but less likely because I know immediately to squeeze that brake. There's other tricks out there you can use brakes on. I mean, if I was coming up right now and try to go up this bank to land on this rail with two tires and then hop over backwards down that bank, but I got sketched out and I didn't have brakes, I would run into that rail so many times, kind of pointless. But having brakes gives me that confidence to go up each time without having to run into that rail to be able to land two tire and hop over. Speaking of that, let's give it a go. Here's another fun reason I break. Now the possibility of brakes are just endless. That, that's always been the reason why I absolutely love riding brakes. Today is so cold out right now, like my hands are frozen. Even though I have gloves on right now, they're absolutely frozen. I wanna do bar spin so bad, but I can't even feel 
my grips or my brake lever enough to really kind of trust myself. We can still do some tail whips, that's absolutely something that we're gonna be doing here in a moment, but I just wanna relay that I think that brakes aren't making a comeback. I think that the riders that always rode the brakes are putting them back on. If brakes made a comeback, that would mean that riders of today's generation would be putting them on in the masses. And I don't think that's ever gonna happen, actually. A lot of the frames that are being sold right now don't even have the option to have brake mounts on them. It's not to say it can't happen in the future. It's also something I just don't see. I don't see today's young riders doing it. And I'm okay with that. But what I am seeing are riders of my generation resurging back into the industry to ride. Maybe their kids are older, maybe their kids are riding bikes for the first time, maybe they just got a divorce, maybe they just want to ride again. And that's why it looks like brakes are coming back. Because they never left. They never left that specific riding group. Us mid-school guys, we'll never take them off. Simple as that. We'll never take them off for good at least. I've dabbled back and forth like I've said, but the riding consistency just isn't there brakeless for me, maybe other people. I do know other people out there that are just so good brakeless, do Shubikas so good every single time that they don't even need a brake. Me, I need them and I absolutely love them. And it's one of those things that it's, it's a, it's a relic when you see it. I'm a diehard supporter of it and I support anyone out there that wants to ride however they want to ride. Front brakes. I know a lot of you guys might be riding front brakes, but I just can't do it. I just love to foot jam. I'm not saying I can't ride front brakes. I'm just saying that you probably won't see it on this bike ever. Not that I won't have a bike, but I just, I just, guys, just love the foot jam. my personal two cents on if brakes are making a comeback within the industry. I personally don't think that the industry thinks that they're coming back. I think that there's still riders within the industry that are mid-school riders that are still hanging around that make it look like that brakes are coming back. I also don't think that riders ever stopped riding brakes. I just think that those riders put bikes and BMX on the back burner for their family, for their career, for their marriage, whatever it might be, and they're making a resurface back out into the industry and it makes it look like more people are riding brakes. I think that if more people are riding brakes then more companies would sell brakes. Um, I mean companies that have always sold brakes still always will. Odyssey being one of them. You know I absolutely love Odyssey brakes, always will run them. Um, when it comes down to brake lever nobody makes a better brake lever than an Odyssey brake lever. So with that being said if you're a brake rider hit the thumbs up. If you're a brakeless rider, hit the thumbs up. I love all of you. I love BMX and always will love BMX. I just get really busy within my life. I got two kids, I run a business, family's just so crazy, and I just wanted to make this video because this is how much I love BMX. I love, I love how we can just change our styles up and fall back in love with BMX. Being a BMX rider now for 20 years and knowing what it was like as a brakeless rider, running no pegs, four pegs, three pegs, two pegs, gyro with two pegs, it's been so much fun. And just reliving it and kind of just like looking back on old props videos and just seeing people's questions in DMs, made me wanna make this video. So with that being said, if you guys have any other suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.